Hi Libra, this is going to be your singles reading for October of 2019. I hope you're doing well and happy birthday to those of you Libras that have birthdays in October. Happy, happy birthday to you. So this is going to be a reading for Libras, for, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So if you're a Sun sign Libra, happy birthday. Um, if you have your birthday in October, some of you may have had it in September, you know, happy belated birthday to you. Um, okay, so I just want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below. Um, since I do a giveaway every single month, if you would like to book a private paid reading, information for that will also be down below. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And my handmade bracelets are on Etsy. They start from just £3 with free international shipping. Link for those will be in the description box below. They are meditated with, saged, and they are there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. So I'm wearing actually a brand new bracelet, which is the 2020 Energy Bracelet. And then I also have the Heart Chakra Bracelet as well. So if you're interested, in any of them from career, love, twin flame, soulmate, evil eye. I even have a Libra zodiac sign bracelet on there as well. There are so many. Do check out the description box below. If you're on mobile, make sure you tap on the title of this video and it will automatically expand the description box. All right, Libra, let's get started for singles. What have we got? Single and ready to mingle. You know, I really wanted to say that, but I wanted to see what the first card was. Um, it's the lovers. I mean, hello, Libra. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a sip of my um, tea just because my throat is uh, it's not doing too well today. But uh, speaking of my throat, look at that card. Wow, right? Wow. The lovers. The lovers, if you have been single, get ready for a pretty exciting month, okay? This lovers card is really showing that in October it is divine timing for so many of you singles. Now remember this is a general reading, so this may not be for everyone, okay? But what I am seeing is that for some of you Libras out there who are single, this is a month where things are shifting and changing. This is a month where love is starting to take shape. Things are starting to form. There is this beautiful sunny energy of happiness and positivity and joy. There's just a flourishing energy of growth with all of these trees and flowers and fruits and leaves. A flourishing energy of love. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just going to take another sip of my tea quickly. Incredible, right? Incredible. So let's see how this is all going to take shape or take form, take place. <laughs> how is it all going to take place? King of Wands, right? Being approached by somebody. Somebody taking action towards you. Even so, saw the fool here as well. Ooh, look at this. Somebody here really taking action towards you, wanting to progress things with you. This is an insanely incredible reading. Insanely incredible reading. Okay, so this person wants to pursue you, take action towards you, they want to show you what they're all about, they want to come forward, they want to express things to you, they're physically very attracted to you, if you can already tell with the lover's card. They want to progress with you, they want to show you their loyalty, you know, the dog symbolises loyalty, it symbolises joy, happiness, double sun, positivity, warmth, you know, it's this beautiful energy of them wanting to take things further with you, wanting to progress along much, much further with you. I'm actually going to put the Knight of Cups down here as well. You know, the Knight of Cups here is really about, you know, expressing things to you emotionally, telling you how they feel towards you and just wanting to come forward, wanting to fight for you also. You know, the, the Knight is dressed in armour, just really coming forward. Then we have the Four of Swords and this Four of Swords is this beautiful, beautiful energy, you know, which is all about a sense of calm, a sense of just feeling good. This is also the calm before the storm. It's the calm before the love. 
We also have the Ace of Swords, and this Ace of Swords is so important. Why is this Ace of Swords so important? Well, the Ace of Swords is very, very important because the Ace of Swords is really about things progressing with communication with this person. It's about loyalty and trust starting to build up. It's about this sense of just feeling good, you know, there's a crown on top of that sword, it's this sense of just knowing, and this sense of longing, and this sense of joy and happiness, you know, so that's really what I'm seeing here, is that's, it's that sense of just knowing that it's right, and that's what you're going to have, you know, your gut will tell you this is the right thing, and then you will very much so think to yourself, okay, it's the right thing, I'll progress along with it, it will be fine, let's go with it, you know, so you will know in your gut that this is the right thing, for sure, seven of, seven of wands, right, so the seven of wands is this very sparky energy with the wands obviously being fire energy, it's about this person not wanting to give up on you, you know, in terms of your single energy in October, it seems quite con consumed, by this person, you know, there's this calm energy that takes place in October, and then there's this kind of, it's not a, it's not a storm in the sense that it's crazy, but it's a storm in the sense that there's a lot going on, and this person is really wanting to pursue you, and it's going to be your choice, you know, the Ace of Swords is also about making a choice, acceptance or rejecting, look at that, they're coming forward, wanting a lot of communication, you know, wanting wanting quite a lot in the situation. Okay, so let me just get the other cards out. <laughs> we got them. We got them. Alright. Three of Cups. Let's just show you the card. Three of Cups is about socialising and gathering. And Yes, this can be a third party card, but I always read my cards in relation to the question. I always re um, read my card in relation to the other cards. Three of Cups is also a card of cele uh, celebrations and gatherings and having fun, okay? So this is how I'm seeing the card. It's about the two of you meeting up and having fun and just really having a good time and also sharing that with other people. So, you know, in the sense of like friendships and things like that, not other third party people, nothing of that sort. Two of Pentacles is about balancing the situation, you know, finding time to see one another, finding time to see how things are growing. So that's what I'm seeing. But there's the, the, oh God, <laughs> my voice is just like, what should I say next? Basically, I have so many messages that come to me <laughs> that I'm trying to figure out which one I should say next, just so that I don't miss any. But what I was trying to say is the infinity symbol here really does show that there is huge potential here for the long term, as does this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles also shows that there is huge potential here for love. This is also showing you feeling so strong within yourself, feeling strong in your energy, feeling just good. And this also shows that you are mature, but also the person here in this situation is also very mature. They have grown a lot. They are someone that just won't mess you around. And again, your gut will tell you that, Six of Wands, this is about them coming forward, feeling a huge sense of attraction towards you, but also wanting to take things further with you, wanting to progress things further with you, just, you know, wanting to go the distance, okay? So that's also what's coming through. This is about victory, celebration, success, potential. We also have the Scorpio energy lingering in October. October? What is October? <laughs> October with the death card. This is about transformation. This is from you going from single to actually then that energy of mingle. <laughs> that energy of, you know, someone else coming in. So there's a very transformative energy that takes place in October. It's the calm before the love. <laughs> calm before the storm. So that is what I'm seeing here, Libra. You know, we've got this very, very strong energy coming through for you. And if you found that this, reson uh, this reading resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on the private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, or my bracelets, which are on Etsy, or you could look at all of them. If you're on mobile, make sure you tap on the title of this video and it will automatically expand the description box below so you can have a look and see what is there. And I 
hope you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this, and take care. Bye!